And as you can see, we have ourselves a working little helicopter, you know? It just says Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Waz, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a working, realistic helicopter in a Buildable for Treasure. Now guys, you, as you can see, it doesn't look very realistic, so you may be wondering, what do I mean by realistic? So I'll just show you real quick. So basically, if you hop in here, and you go forward, as you can see, just like a normal helicopter would, this thing leans forward, and if you go, you know, if you go, if you turn, it uh, leans that way. It just kind of, it looks pretty cool. It looks like a realistic helicopter. It looks like um, what a helicopter would would kind of look like so yeah it's just a pretty cool little helicopter to build um and yeah so that's really actually all i have to say about this thing so without any further ado let's get straight into how to build it all right guys to build this thing i don't think you even need scale tool so it is pretty easy to build uh it might just take a little bit longer if you don't have scale tool but really all you need is this bind tool and then of course your build and delete tool but of course you have those anyways let's just go ahead and get started and we're going to start off by just placing a pull on the ground make sure you're building this with anchor block off if you don't if you have the screwdriver tool i guess it really doesn't matter but if you guys do not have the screwdriver tool make sure you're building with anchor block off we're just going to place a pull then we're going to make a giant platform again you do not need the scale tool to do this it just um just make a big platform out of a pretty heavy block so i recommend titanium obsidian or gold something like that something that's heavy uh probably obsidian would be your best bet maybe a titanium i'm going to be using titanium because i'm pretty sure it's the heaviest block I don't I'm not I'm not 100% sure but I I think it's the heaviest block so we're just gonna make a little square platform just like this now guys this is this might be a little bit more complicated than it first looks so just be aware so yeah now once we have this we're actually gonna get out our uh, our plastic okay so this purple block plastic block and we're just gonna place them on the corners just like this as long as they're like lined up with each other just like this there we go so as you can see these are all lined up then you can just go ahead and scale these up make sure they're again lined up with each other like this just add some support like this now this is going to be the part um this part will actually hang down below the ground and this will be where all the mechanics are that you know you can't make certain blocks invisible so you got to hide them instead of just making them invisible so this is what's going to hold those blocks so now once we have this we're going to get out ice blocks now make sure these are ice blocks this works a lot better if, if these are ice blocks and you just want to scale them on top of here. Make sure the blocks are not like um, like overlapping. Uh, so there we go. Let's just make sure that these are all the right size. And we just keep scaling these out until we have a nice little box just like this. And there we go. We have our little box done. So now what we're going to want to do is we're just going to do our like the, the whole me mechanic thing right now so how we're gonna do this is it's just a servo make sure you build these servos exactly how I do so that you can make this as easy as possible you want to build one that looks just like this all right so you see um, let me just place one so you see it's uh, the top part is the dark part is facing left and it's facing up just like this and yeah so now on top of this we just want to place a servo like this all right you want to place one like this it looks like this um, just like that so now we have this what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our plastic blocks again and we're just gonna make a little bit of a pull now this is this uh, the ice blocks right here this is gonna be ground level so however high this pull is that's how high up your helicopter is gonna be so I'm just gonna make it about that high and there we go just like that so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build a little helicopter now guys sadly you cannot actually have too much weight on here so you gotta make a little helicopter but that's fine because it, it's still pretty cool just to have a little helicopter that flies around so there we go let's just make sure that this is um evenly the weight is even just like this and we're just gonna make a little helicopter so let's just go ahead and, and do that there we go so we got our little base down now let's go ahead and give it a blade because it will not be able to fly if it doesn't have a blade um not really you don't actually need to do this part you can really customize it however you want just again it cannot really be heavy so you, you got to keep it very light or the servo will go all over the place because these servos are not the strongest things and if you turn up the servo torque then it will just it just goes insane so yeah now we have this um this is going to be our little helicopter you can now place your car seat on top of here 
and there we go so now what we need to do is we need to actually make a system for actually moving this around now this is actually really easy all you need is three or four boat motors and you just place them down here now you're gonna need more than one you're definitely gonna need more than one because uh all this titanium is pretty heavy and one of these will not be able to push it so you might need one or two maybe three or maybe four like i have i know four works so if you have four just use four so now once we have this uh we're starting to get there you know you could probably start to see how the mechanic works but now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna um, get out our screwdriver tool I forgot to mention you actually do need the screwdriver tool um, I forgot but yeah so now what we need to do is we need to hold shift or control on our keyboard click the big platform click all of these posts so let's just do this and then we're gonna go ahead and click both of the servos and then all four of these so we're just gonna select all this at once all four motors and then we're gonna click this pull okay all of this stuff so not this top part just all of this just like that and we're just gonna turn off collisions and make it all invisible just like this so now you can actually also make this invisible um, this part right here remember keep collisions on for this part because this is what's gonna be holding us up so let's just make this part invisible just like that and now as you can see it's it's starting to come together but now we actually need to make some keybinds. So actually, before we do this, we're just going to place another seat over here. And I'm just going to uh, keybind it to this wheel and go like E and then uh, Q. So then this wheel can spin without me having to spin it manually, just like that. So once we have all this, now what we want to do is get out our keybind tool again. We want to click the servo that looks like this, the top servo. And you just want to click that and then click your chair that's up here. And we're going to do A to turn left, um, just the left, normal left to turn left. And then D to turn right, you know, just normally, you know, that's just normal with, if you're playing on PC. And then this one down here might be a little bit weird. So what you're going to do is you're going to select this one and then you're going to click the chair. And you're going to go W to go left. I know that doesn't seem very, that seems weird, but trust me. And then S to turn right. So basically when you press W, it'll lean forward and such. So yeah, now once we, we're actually pretty much done with all the building. Now what we need to do is we just need to make these servo settings. We just need to make these settings correct. So you want to set the servo speed to like one, just one like this. And then you want to set the servo ang angle to either 20 or 5. So there, you could do 20 or 5. I'm just going to be doing 20. It depends uh, how much you want it to lean. But yeah, that's actually pretty much it. Now you can just color your helicopter, make it look kind of, kind of nice, just like this, and maybe add like, maybe make like a little red th thing, and then like a blue chair, something like this. There we go, just like that. So now, once we have this, we can actually go over here and let's just uh, fire this thing up. So uh, I'm just gonna sit on this seat. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's save this first. We're gonna save this first. And then if we delete this pull, it should fall into the ground, and it should just be floating there just like that. Now, um, we're going to actually start up the blade, so we just sit in this chair over here, hold E, and then jump out while still holding E, and then we can delete this. And now, as you can see, we have this blade spinning, and if we were to go ahead and grab ourselves a pink candy, and then we can jump up in this chair... Uh, maybe if it doesn't throw us out and as you can see we have ourselves a working little helicopter You know, it's just a nice little helicopter. You can see all the mechanics happening down here It's a pretty cool thing to be flying around in and yeah You could also do this with like a plane just again make sure it's a little you just gotta make it a cute tiny little helicopter like this and you can also go ahead and I, I can show you how it actually is working right now so as you can see it's kind of like a joystick this is what it reminds me of so you're kind of like you're, you're on a joystick in this box that's holding us up so yeah this is basically what is happening under the uh, what this is basically what's happening so yeah that's actually gonna be it for this tutorial guys I hope you guys have found this interesting and helpful or you hope you enjoyed the video so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video guys. I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.